All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rakak Wadash, double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom, salutations to the hopeful elect that's fighting the good fight of faith and truth and sincerity and wholeheartedly, Shalom to the Akwak, which is the women believers, Shalom unto you, saying ungodly witness, scorn of judgment, in the mouth of the wicked devour equity. See, y'all think, see, scorners, man, scorners is going to get it. That, that, that's all I got to say, man. Scorners is going to get it. And I'm talking about you Israelites, unbelievers, you know, you Charleston whites and then just regular Jake's that just be, you know, walking up and down the street at the time when the prophets is preaching. You know, a lot of people think it's a game. A lot of people come up over the years. You know, um, I haven't been out there as long as the apostles and elders and things like that. But when I was watching before I put my hand to the plow, I seen so many videos of just scoffers. And now I'm a part of seeing the scoffers, you know, face to face because I put my hand to the plow. So I, I see a lot of a lot of things that you don't see when you watching a video on YouTube. But when you go out there in the field, you really see it. And like I said, if you watch my videos, especially on the outside ministry, I always talk about the faces. When I see people's faces, they think it's a game. They think it's a joke. And then the people, most people just look like they, well, they don't know what the hell is going on. But when you look at them, they just, you know, you hear a whole bunch of conversations when they walk past. Ain't nobody talking about, man, Babylon the Great. Well, in their case, America. Man, America really ain't shit no more. America really on the decline. Man, these man, these food prices high as hell. Man, gas ain't went back down uh where it used to be. Like you don't hear talk like that. You don't hear concern. What you hear about is what you're gonna be doing. Uh because if I go out, because I go out Saturday and Sunday. All right, so whatever day that I go out, um, because I on Saturdays it that's me. And then on Sunday, I'm with the group. But um, so Saturday or Sunday, both days, you know, you, you look at people's faces and they really, really just don't know what the hell's going on. Hearing the conversations of, oh, I mean, this weekend, this, this weekend, that, and there's a whole bunch of folly. But um, judgment. Proverbs 19 and 29, judgments are prepared for scorners and the stripes for the back of fools. And those stripes, you don't know what that entail of. See, the Lord is speaking symbolism. All he's saying is that whatever judgment that's going to befall you is going to hurt. It's going to hurt. A lot of people don't get it. A lot of people going to find out. So, um. Surely he scorneth the scorners. And that's what's about to come on a wide scale. See, a scorner is a mocker. A scorner is a person who speaks proudly against the truth. Yahweh Shai even told the wicked Sadduc Sadducees and Pharisees and chief priests and scribes, the ones who were wicked, because it was some that were righteous. He told him that you are of your father, the devil. And he also said that you are the fathers of them that kill up the prophets. The children of them that kill up the prophets. So the day is going to come where the Lord is going to laugh at your calamity, as it say in Proverbs 1. He's going to laugh at your calamity. He's going to mock when your fear cometh. So that's what it means when it says, surely he scorn up the scorners, but he give grace unto the lowly. Those are the ones who's doing the work. Those are the ones who actually believe. Those are the ones who are humbled in spirit. Scripture said in Matthew 5 and 5 that the meek shall inherit the earth. All right. So that's the grace that we're going to receive. Whoever those men or women be that endure to the end. 35. The wise shall inherit glory. See, we got something to look forward to. You got nothing but judgment. Strikes is for the back of the fools. Because matter of fact, in Proverbs 1 and 22, it said, how long shall you simple ones love simplicity and scorners love to scorn and fools hate knowledge? So it says the wise shall inherit glory, but the sh but shame shall be the promotion of fools. And the other thing that y'all don't get Proverbs 18 and 21 death and life 
is in the power of the tongue. Matthew 12 and 43, for every idle word, you're going to have to give an account in the day of judgment. Every idle word you're going to be judged by. So the things that you say is very, very important. And matter of fact, it say he that reprove of a scorner get up to himself a shame. And he that rebuke of a wicked man get of himself a blot. And that blot is a moral stain. See, you trying to convert, which you don't have the um the say so on who be converted. The Lord is the one that give the increase. You water and plant, the Lord give the increase. But of course, you go out there, you prophesy. If a brother seems like he's sincere, you talk to him. But see, this scripture is talking about you know he a scorner. So all you're going to do is bring shame upon yourself. And now you're going to be just like him. Matter of fact, let's get into I want to see what this word blot. I looked I looked it up before, but I haven't looked it up in a while. So it's um uh, ma'awam. Ma'awam. So look at that. Blemish, spot, defect, a physical defect, a moral stain. All right. Let's look at here the strong definitions. Let me see. Hmm. Yep. So a moral stain. And that's going against the Lord. Because your morals is your character, what you live by. A stain is a blemish. So you trying to, matter of fact, let me just back it up. Let me back up. Let me get the perfect moral stain um, scripture when it comes to this. Just back it up with scripture instead of talking on them. So anyway, say if a wise man contendeth with a fool, foolish man, whether he rage or laugh, there is no rest. Because what's going to happen? What's going to happen when you. Let's read it again, because I just lost my train of thought. He'd ever approve of a scorner, give himself a shame. There we go. So anyways, um, what you think is going to happen? If you try to reprove a man, because you are a judge, as they say in first Corinthians 2 and 15, say a spiritual man judge of all things that he himself is not judged by any man. Only person that could judge you is another man, another man of the Lord. But he had to make sure that the beam is out of his eye. He can't be a hypocrite if he's if he's rebuking you. But anyways, the point that I'm making is that so you trying to re reprove a scorner, a person, you know, who don't believe a person who make light of this truth. What's going to happen? Either you going to get mad. And act out of character or he's going to get mad and act out of character. Screaming at each other with veins coming out your neck, veins popping out your forehead. So that's what it means is that a wicked man get of himself a blot. It's a reprove, not a scorner, unless he hate you. Rebuke a wise man. He will love you because you understand these things once you once you talk to people. If you talk to a person and it seem like they're getting it. Then you continue to keep working with them because they're not going to get it in one day. This don't work like that. But if everything that you say there are combative, leave it alone. I learned the hard way because I have a friend in the world who I love and it ain't meant for him. All right. So I stopped talking to him about it. And if I do talk to him, we ain't talking about that. So, um. Oh, verse nine, give instruction to a wise man and he will yet be wiser. Teach a just man and he will increase in learning. So and that is the men who have entered into the apostles and elders labors and even them. because They enter into other men's labors. So they heard the word and guess what? They became yet wiser and they increase in learning. And um. Yeah, this video ain't meant to be long. It's a little quick hit. Is that you? You. Oh, matter of fact. What is that? Nineteen twenty-five. I'm gonna read a couple in Burton. So yeah, uh, smite a scorner, and the simple will beware, and reprove one that have understanding. He will understand knowledge. 
So smarter scorner and a simple will beware. You got to understand that the men of the Lord is going to have the last laugh. Ain't even no point to even be out here trying to debate a, a, a nigga. But that's what they are. They're not. The scriptures talks about it. The Israel of the most high. So you got the Israel of the most high and then you got just regular Israelites. Them are niggas. All right. So ain't no point of talking to them. Ain't no point of trying to reprove them. They made their choice. We at the end of this thing. Scripture said in um, Amos 5 and 13, it said that uh, a wise man, uh, no, a prudent man would keep silent in that time for it is an evil time. And we are in evil times right now. It's, it's actually wise to be like Clark Kent, not not allowing everybody know who you are. You just do the work of the Lord. Don't give yourself more enemy. You already public enemy. Number one, you know, talking too much can get you. Matter of fact, is that Proverbs 25 and 1? I haven't read this in a long time, so if it ain't, I'm going to go back to the scripture I was just reading. Let me try 11. See? Yeah. I can't even remember the phrase. I think it's something like like a like a fool utter his, utter his whole mind or something like that. Let me see if I can find that. Yep. Try one more time. But that's actually knocking me off my course anyways. Oop, see, 29 and 11. So, a fool utter all his mind. So, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. So, a fool utter all his mind, but a wise man keep it in until afterwards. So, this ain't the time to be trying to reprove a scorner. This ain't the time. Matter of fact, this actually the time to get your spiritual, um, 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 I don't want to say judgment up, but that is the word I'm looking for. But this is the time to to get your discernment up. How about that? The Lord blessed us with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and he gave us eye salve. Of course, that's talking about the prophecies, seeing things to come, but also to read spirits, man. Don't, don't, don't listen, man. To a certain extent, it's fun to debate. Because it's sharpening you up, but just know when it's getting too far to back out. All right. Scripture said that a soft word turn up away wrath, but grievous words make of wrath. That's Proverbs 15 and 18. Matter of fact, let's make sure. Yep. A wrath of man stir up strife, but he that is slow. To anger a piece of strife. So, going back to 19. Let me see. Look, that's why I got to get out of that. Um, Oh, this video is going to be real quick. Even though all my videos is quick, but I really thought this video was going to be like a 10-minute video. But you can't take whatever the spirit wants. That's what's going to happen. So, anyway, say an ungodly witness scorn of judgment in the mouth of the wicked devour iniquity so all they do is speak proudly all they they can't the scripture said that uh, uh out the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh so guess what a scorner gonna speak nothing but bullshit all right nothing that nothing that edifies and bring you closer to the lord 29 judgment are prepared for scorners and stripes for the back of fools that's what you got to look forward to. And second Peter three and three, it said that in the last days, people should be walking after their own lust. Matter of fact, let me just end it on that. So stripes is going to be for the back of fools. It said knowing this first, that there should come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. And that's why understanding is the key. See, you don't understand that prophecy have to play out and all prophecy have to play out. That's why people have the audacity to fix their lips to say, where is the promise of his coming? Because you don't understand that prophecy still have to come. Jacob's trouble ain't even here. The Karagma ain't here. World War III is not in full-fledged yet. 
So th things still have to happen. Oh, a lawless society, race wars, class wars, civil wars, all that. All right. A lot of stuff is about to happen. So judgment. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, judgment is going to be. um. And what, what did it say? 29 judgments are prepared for scorners <laughs> and the stripes for the back of fools. So that's what you got to look forward to. If you don't want to repent, you don't want to come back to the Lord. We got to tell you the bad news. All right. So a little all over the place. It's late, 2.45 a.m. Hopefully this video is edifying and shalom.